Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, Gary Dean Detailing, all of those things. So I've got my 99 Blazer here in the background. Let me show you what's going on. So I know I did another video where I showed you guys the glass. I did a spot right here with the brand new glass water spot remover gel. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but this circle was done. You can see how there's no water spots there, but there is in the surrounding areas. Same thing with uh, where I taped right there. I believe that I, I polished this side with the glass polish. I don't think I used this on this side of this window, but you can see that hard line where the tape was. This is all water spots. So I'm gonna demonstrate this product on those water spots and on this whole window I, it looks like i've removed them well most of them from this window i didn't get all those but i did get the bottom half so we're going to go ahead and apply this stuff um usually i would recommend i don't know some sort of microfiber applicator but i'm going to use one of these blue shop towels because they work amazing and I really dig them as an applicator because they're super soft. Um, they're also pretty tough, so you don't go through them nearly as much as you would a regular uh, paper towel. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna set it right there. Problem is, oh, open this up. It's hard to do this with one hand and my tripod is at the shop so you can see the hard line there i'm going to go ahead and release the fury okay a little bit of product goes a long way with this stuff um, it is an acid blend so try to keep it off your hands um, the official answer is uh, i have not had it irritate my hands or whatever but always safety first so uh, i would probably be using gloves i'm not but you you should <laughs> uh, just because i'm a big dummy doesn't mean you should be one so that's plenty the whole purpose of this being a uh, gel is so that you can put it on and just let it sit and work so it's actively working as it's sitting there. So you want a good amount on the surface. So I am going to just keep keeping on, applying it to all of this. Should be good to go. It's a little bit right there. And this whole window needs to be done. Finally getting around to do the glass on this thing. It was super nasty. I'm going to tint these windows um, probably in the next week. I just have not had any time. And with the uh, VersaCoat 13 thing, oh my gosh, what a product we have on our hands, guys. Um, I am getting, people are reaching out for me to me from other countries now. Like I've always had a lot of people reach out and want to talk about what I'm doing and you know, the products and that kind of thing. But for the most part, people just uh, deal with me from America unless they want to be a distributor, which you know, we allow sometimes. But I've been, people are reaching out about the product in other countries and uh, we sold so much of this stuff already. Oh, it's, I mean, there's a lot, a lot in transit right now, but there's a lot out there already as well. Um, I've got some news about that product and I'll be sharing it uh, in a video. Probably the next video that I produce will be on the uh, VC13. All right. Well, it's on the window, so now you just let it wait. Um, I think I got 
all these windows are pretty clean. Oh, that front one needs it, so I'm gonna apply it to that. But all right, we're gonna give this uh, 10 to 15 minutes to do its thing, and then we'll, uh, I'll probably try wiping it off, but the reality is you might wanna hose it off. But uh, I'll bring you back in 10 to 15 minutes before I wipe it off. All right, it's been about 10 minutes or so. I just wiped a little spot off over there. Um, it doesn't wipe off too easy. I would recommend a damp towel if you're gonna wipe it off. I got the spot that was there off and this is all gone, but you can see how smeary. So, what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna set my towel to the side. And we're gonna get something to blast this off with. Yeah, that should do it. All right. Wow, look at that. No spots. Just gonna dry the glass off real quick. All right. <laughs> it's harder to get it dry than it looks apparently. Yep. Took good care of that. Let's see if we can wipe this off and make it look better. Yeah. All right. Sweet. I'm just trying to get it dry. All right. Give it a second. All right. This one had a ton of of spots all over it this one here looks good too there was a spot right there and all of this was pretty yucky looks good and no spots on that glass remember that big line that was there very uniform now looks really nice i don't know if you can tell but right at the bottom i'm gonna hit that again i didn't get it right up against it and i can see some down there but for the majority of the the window Looks clean and clear. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a, another go. So the water is not only rinsing it off the surface of the glass, but it's diluting it for everywhere else it hit so it's definitely good for the the areas that it ran off you want to just hit those again that way you don't have any issues with the acid now I've, I've never had any issues with it we've been using this stuff for about a year now and it's awesome and you can see without me wiping the water off there's no more spots on that glass either there were a ton in here it's all gone. You are looking at a layer of water on top of the glass, obviously. But this area, this whole glass, all this looks great. I just got to touch up a little bit at the bottom here. Like I showed you. Just a little bit right, then, right in there. But other than that, this thing looks great. Let's go hit this other window. Yeah, buddy. Finally got some. Nice and clean glass. So it's, it's all over this window as well. Rinse it so you don't have to touch it. I would do this prior to your wash. So just clean the clean the glass real good with uh, isopropyl alcohol and water and then after that 
use the uh, water spot remover gel and then rinse that off and then go at it with your wash. All right, this window is super dry, but I see a little bit of spotting right there at the edge and on the bottom where I didn't get. This one looks awesome. Yeah, super great. All right, guys, that's my gel water spot removal or water spot removal gel. Um, it is an acid base like many on the market. Ours is just stronger. It works better. It works faster and more thorough. It is what it is. I produce the absolute best possible products that we can produce. And uh, we're doing pretty good with that. Uh, we got thousands of people across the planet that love our products. And look, I can talk about them until I'm blue in the face, but you'll never really know unless you give them a shot yourself. So 813-846-4406 is my cell. Check out detailjuice.com. You can find this uh, water spot remover gel uh, in uh, the shop tab on the button bar. And uh, if you need me, let me know. Check me out on Instagram. It's gary.dean.35. I'll put that right here. And... Uh, after you're done cleaning your glass, if you want to polish out scratches, you could do that with the glass polish. And then you can seal it all up. You can coat it with a glass-specific ceramic coating that we just launched for 2023. It's in the same area you're going to find the gel water spot removal. Uh, water spot removal gel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And let me know if you've got any questions. Have a wonderful day and stay tuned for more videos. All right, now this is the next morning and I have inspected, oh, I got a little bit of debris on there, but there's no water spots left even around the edges. These windows look awesome. Yeah, I gotta clean the inside of it, but all the water spots are gone. That gel water spot remover works awesome. This glass is all done. I still got to do the windshield. Didn't bother with that, but looking good. Gel water spot remover, detailjuice.com. Get you some.